if-then statement to indicate a toss occurred. Go to Controls and drag an if-then block. You will use the accelerometer sensor again, which measures motion detection in G-force, to evaluate when you toss Sphero. Go to Comparators, drag a greater than comparator, and place it in the true field. Next, go to Sensors and drag an accelerometer sensor into the left side of the operation, and choose the total axis. Change the zero on the right side to three. This statement reads as, if the accelerometer experiences more than three Gs, call the blocks within. Each time the sphero is tossed, you want the players to know it, so add a play sound block and choose the game abrupt sound. Also, add a strobe block to add a quick flash of light. Set the color to yellow, the period to 0.2 seconds, and the count to one. The last step in the if-then logic is to count the number of tosses and keep track of that value. Remember, the number of tosses will be evaluated continuously against the expire value in the loop until condition. Go to operators and drag a set block. Now, drag an addition operator to the right of the equal sign. Now you can drag the toss variable to the left of the equal sign and also on the left of the addition operation. Change the zero to one. This set block reads as add one to the toss variable each time the if-then statement is true, which means that each time you toss Sphero, the toss count will be tracked. If you look back at all of the loop until logic, you will see that you are almost done with the program. You just need to write the part of the game where the loop until logic is true and the player holding the Sphero at that time is out.